Hello everyone and welcome to another Fantastic Tuesday edition of The Den. I'm your Tuesday Cub Will here as always. Thank you so much for coming back. Uh, so this week is Current Art Project Week here on The Den and unfortunately currently I don't have any art projects going on with me right now. So what I'm going to do with today's video is basically I'm going to describe how much art runs so deep in my family. Like really super deep. Um, basically my grandfather was a commercial artist. Uh, he like had this huge studio down in Georgetown uh, in DC. Basically this man has had one hell of a career. He is widely known for stained glass art. Um, I'm gonna show you some of uh, his favorite pieces and some I've actually worked on with him in a few seconds. Uh, but I think one I think his most highlighting crown achievement was he came up with one of the original sketches for Smokey the Bear. Like always prevent forest fires, that, that Smokey the Bear. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um, I apologize in advance in this video if I kind of get a little emotional because th these are some really, really good memories and I, I really love my grandfather so much. He's, he's one of the best guys you'll ever meet. But yeah, um, why don't I go ahead and show you some of his uh, stained glass works that he's worked on. Right here is one of my favorite pieces that he's definitely worked on. Um, if you are a fan of college football, you see right here, you will probably recognize this character right here. This is Testudo the Terrapin. Uh, basically the mascot for the University of Maryland. Um, unfortunately the M is so worn out because this is so old and it's just been hanging in the window collecting sunlight and oh, it's it's definitely one of my favorite pieces of his. So yeah. Love you Pop Pop. Alright, anyway. I started working on stained glass with him back when I was about nine maybe ten years old. I used to go down to Florida and spend a few weeks with him and my grandmother. Again, sorry this is <laughs> getting really emotional here. Uh, this is the very first stained glass piece I ever worked on with my grandfather right here. As you can see, it's just a little old mushroom. And it was really fun. I mean, learning how to cut the glass in the exact uh, process, um, how, to, how to use a soldering gun, uh, making soldering balls, uh, those were so much fun. And yeah, that, that's my very first stained glass piece. Um, over the years, when I would go down and visit him, we, we would at least make one stained glass piece every time he was, uh, I was down there. This is definitely one of my favorites uh, that we both made together. It's just, just a little cartoon bird. Kind of looks like the Partridge Family bird a little, but yeah. It's so cute. Anyway, uh, over the years it got a little more complex, as you can see with this one right here. It's a lovely, lovely sailboat. And yeah, I think this took about almost the entire visit I was here. We worked on it a little, little bit each and every day. Oh. Uh, this one right here has to be my most failed attempt at a stained glass work. Um, back when I was like 13, 14, I was a huge diehard fan of the band Evanescence. And this is my sad attempt at making their logo. Yeah. Uh, as you can see, the soldering and, and the metal is like worn out because it's just been hanging in the window. Oh, uh, yeah. So that, that was a failed attempt. And, uh... This one right here has to be my most favorite that I've worked on with my grandfather. It's good old Mickey Mouse. Yep, this took literally forever. I was not able to be there when we finished it, but once he finished it, uh, we were, he uh, shipped it up to up here to Maryland. Again, sorry, I'm getting so choked up over this. Because these are so many good memories of uh, spending summers with my grandfather. And yeah, uh, it was really fun because I worked on the mouth right here, the eyes and the nose. Uh, he worked on the main main features right here, the ears and the face, and um, he told me how much of a pain in the ass it was to paint all this little etching around here. So yeah, gotta love Mickey, gotta love my Pop Pop. So those are just some of the uh, stained glass pieces that me and my grandfather worked on over the years. Um, it's not the only thing he taught me how to do with art, he basically taught me how to freaking paint. And this is my very first and probably only painting that I have of my, of my own work. And basically what he did was he sat me down in a desk in his studio garage put these five items in front of me and said, okay, uh, draw these to the best of your ability, and then after that, I'm going to show you how to shade and uh, paint with oil paintings. And basically, this is the finished product right here. Now, as you can see, this bottle right here, it's a bottle of Stewart's Orange Soda, which is probably the best orange soda you will ever drink in your entire life. But I decided to change it up a little because the town that we were in at the time was Stewart, Florida. So I changed it from Stewart or Stewart's Orange Soda to Stewart FLA in an homage to my grandfather. So yeah, that's definitely one of my most favorite memories of my grandfather and art. And uh, yeah, that's not just the only thing that art 
uh, means to us in our family. I mean, my great uncle Bob, he was one of Norman Rockwell's famous Boy Scout paintings, and I'll put that in the video somewhere too. Alright, so what I'm going to be doing right now is taking on a little walking tour of my house uh, because my grandfather's art is plastered all over the walls of this house. Like, you cannot look in any single direction without seeing one of his paintings. Alright, so here's the first one on our little walking tour right here. He's uh, widely known for doing a lot of landscape pictures and, uh, let's see, which where's the date on this one? Aha, uh -huh. Walter James Hamilton, 1954. Yeah, this is an oldie but a goodie. So this is another favorite of my grandfather's that he worked on. I loved what he did with the clouds up at the top of the painting right there to make it look like a really scary storm was approaching. And he worked on this and completed it the summer of 1959. Yeah, this is some old school shit you guys are looking at. And this painting right here is basically where he got a lot of his uh, still life uh, skills from. Uh, he finished this the year 1967. So yeah, this my, my grandfather is one talented artist. And this right here would quite possibly, in my opinion, be his greatest painting of all time. Also completed the summer of 1967. So it's not just my grandfather and I who have the art skills in the family. My mom also uh, also got the art bug rubbed off on her. That needle pointing right there, she worked on the... Ah, if I could get the camera straight. She worked on that the year my parents got married in 1983. And look, it's two bears! Oh, that's so cute. So yeah, unfortunately that's going to be all the time for my video this week. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I got a dash because I am running so late to class. But yeah, um, comment, like, subscribe, follow us on Facebook. All the links and clickables are going to be down below. Come back tomorrow to see what Aaron's going to be doing. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all next Tuesday. Bye, everybody.